Hello friends, welcome to our channel Electronics Monk. In this video, we are going to learn about PCB designing using Proteus Design Suit. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe us so that you can get all the tutorials and other stuffs related to electronics, Arduino, ESP8266, Internet of Things and many other stuffs also. So without wasting our time, let us start designing our PCB. First of all, open your software Proteus, then click on new project. In this project, we are designing a power supply. So I'll name this one as power underscore supply. It is a simple project. We are not selecting any development board this time. So it is just a new project. Then click next. Create a schematic from selected template and select a default template. Then press next again. Now select create a PCB layout from selected template and select default then press next. You don't have to do any kind of a changes in this window just press next. Now here we don't want to create any firmware it is just a simple schematic and a PCB designing system so press next again and click on finish. Now. There will be two windows. The first one is a schematic capture and the second one is PCB layout. If you are not getting any of these windows, you can click on these icons also. The first icon is of schematic capture and the second icon is of PCB layout. Like if I have closed my PCB layout, I can click on this PCB layout and I'll get this window again. Okay. Now we want to create a simple power supply that power supply will convert our AC into 9 volt DC okay in my country we are getting AC of 220 volts having a 50 Hertz frequency apart from that one uh, we have to step down that 220 volt using a transformer now I'm not using a PCB mounted transformer I'm using a simple transformer which can step down the 220 volt into 12 volts and give me a 500 milliampere current okay so that transformer that transformer can't be uh, placed on a PCB I'm as I've told you I'm not using a PCB mounted transformer uh, after the transformer uh, we need a bridge rectifier that bridge rectifier will convert our uh, AC signal into pulsating DC signal. Remember guys, bridge rectifier cannot give us pure DC. It only gives us pulsating DC. After that one, we have to use a capacitor to smoothen our waveform and then we will use a voltage regulator. Here we have to convert our um, signal into a 9 volt. So we will use 7809 voltage regulator having a number of 7809 so come to this schematic capture and in the devices click this key icon this is a pick devices icon in the keyword we will first of all write alternator okay this is an active active device there is no PCB preview we will use this for basic simulation so double cl click on that alternator then we will use a bridge rectifier select the first one it will give us 50 volt up to 50 volt and a 2 ampere then we need a capacitor right cap capacitor select capacitor in the subcategories select the generic one here we will use a electrolytic capacitor and we will also use a simple ceramic capacitor 
apart from capacitor i have told you we need 7809 so we are using this analog 7809 while you are selecting any kind of a component remember that you are also getting a pcb preview these are pcb packages of your system of the components that you are using in your schematics and you are using those components in your pcb also so please look at these pcb packages whether you are using a through hole component or you are using surface mounted device this device is a surface mounted device okay so press okay now firstly let us just do a simulation i'll zoom the area in which i will create my schematic this will be good enough now first of all select the alternator then we will use our bridge rectifier then we will use a electrolytic capacitor i'll rotate it using shortcut keys num positive or num negative so i'm using this one here then we will use our voltage regulator again using plus key i can rotate it that's it this is the input pin this is the output pin and this is the ground pin okay it is written here so i'll give input to pin number 1 and i'll get output across pin number 3 and then i'll use a ceramic capacitor to remove if there are any noises so it will remove those noises now let us connect all the schematic the connections are very simple okay remember one thing while connecting it you have to select either this arrow or you have to select this component mode okay now if i suppose select this junction dot then i won't be able to create okay okay so this one the, here we are getting this junction mm. now let us select this one only we want to do simple connections first of all okay and that's it this is what our system is now we will change the properties you can change the properties of any of the component by selecting it and then doing a right click and then you can edit the properties of any of the components here we are changing the property of our first electrolytic capacitor we want 470 micro farad of capacitor then we need a point 01 micro farad of capacitor to remove noises if there are any and then we will change the properties of our alternator here as i've told you i am using a 12 volt transformer so i am assuming that this alternator will give me 12 volt and the frequency of that current will be 50 hertz and then press okay and now let us put a let us go to this instrument bar and we will select dc voltmeter and we will place our voltmeter here let us connect our voltmeter and let us start simulation let us see we are getting 9 volts or not okay great we are getting 9 volts you can see here in this dc voltmeter we are getting 9 volt so our circuit is exactly perfect we are getting a required voltage so let us stop this one and now let us make a pcb first of all we cannot uh, get this one in our pcb so we'll delete this one and we cannot connect this alternator also so what we basically need we need two terminal blocks or two basic connectors okay so we will go to this component mode again i'll press this p and i'll write here connect 
connectors these are the connectors that I'm getting and in the subcategories what I want I want terminal blocks I want terminal blocks so this is a basic terminal block yeah I need this one this terminal block M2 okay metric pitch terminal block these are green color of those terminal blocks you can uh, normally you can see those terminal blocks on the PCB uh, after designing this one we'll see in the 3d visualization that how does our PCB looks and uh, this is our PCB preview so we have to select this one we have got this one now we'll rotate this one and we'll connect here now we will change the properties of this one and we will name it as input similarly we will connect a terminal block here also and we will name this one we will let us connect first of all and now we will name this one as output quite simple now we have completed our schematic and we'll go to this PCB layout in this PCB layout we'll select this component mode now these are all the components that are there in our schematic and amazingly we are getting all the connections here in our PCB layout also okay so whatever connections we have made between all the components those are there in our PCB layout also but first of all we have to set uh, dimensions of our PCB okay so for that one we have to first of all select this 2d graphics box here and then we will go to this code edge again look, take a look here we have to select this 2d graphics bo graphics box mode and in this drop down menu we have to select this board edge we have to select this board edge and let us first of all zoom our PCB yeah so this would be good and let us create a PCB of this much length it would be good I'll think so yeah again go to this component mode first of all I need a input okay let us turn this one the same score the PCB is still the size of a PCB is big let us just change the PCB size let us zoom it more this looks good now here is our bridge rectifier just remember one thing when you are putting your components on this PCB uh, try to get all these uh, you can say these connections as straight as possible okay don't let them be complex otherwise it will be a bit tough this is a simple PCB if you are creating any complex PCB then try that all the circuits all the connections that are there in your PCB have to be as straight as possible then we'll select a capacitor this is our capacitor then we'll go for this 7809 let us rotate this one also then we need a, another capacitor and the last is our output still the size of a PCB is pretty big so we'll just change that one now this looks seriously good seriously good now we have to change the design rules okay we can do that one by clicking on this technology and we'll get this design rule manager so click on this design rule manager and we have to change this pad to trace and trace to trace clearance 
now what is this uh, see these are the foot pads these are the foot pads and you are changing pad to a trace clearance that how much uh, distance would be there between a pad and a trace and how distance how much distance will be there between two traces okay between these two traces how much distance have to be there so we'll change this one to 20th so it's changed to 12th we'll change this one to 20th and we'll change this one also to 20th uh, I'm supposing that uh, you want to create a PCB at your home okay uh, so if you are not interested in creating a PCB at your home if you want to create your PCB uh, with the help of a manufacturer or with the help of some machines then uh, the 10th of the uh, the 10th value of this pad to trace clearance and trace to trace clearance will be good also so you don't have to change there then we'll go to this net class in this net class we are selecting this signal and we'll change this one to this bottom copper so both are these bottom coppers because we are creating a single sided PCB we are not creating any double sided PCB and we'll change the trace style also we'll select T25 this is the width of our trace okay that we are going to have in our PCB now in the net class many a times if you are creating a complex PCB there are some other net classes also like of a power net class or some other net class if you want to create single sided PCB then you have to select all the net class one by one and you have to select bottom copper okay I'll press ok and uh, now we'll do an auto routing we can route it manually also but here I am just telling you about auto routing you have to select this auto routing button and you just have to select this begin routing it will take a bit of time and that's it that's it <laughs> see our system is being routed and this is what our simple PCB a PCB which will give us 9 volt okay now let us do a last thing we want to put holes also mounting holes so we'll put mounting holes how we can do this we can do this by selecting this one this 2d circle mode okay i'll make a simple i'll drag this one i'll put it the one here then let us make another circle drag this one also we'll make another here and we'll make another here let us try to drag this one and we'll put it no let us put it here only otherwise we have to shift this component okay and now we can click on this 3d visualizer button let us see how does it look and wow see this is what our PCB looks like isn't it good oh that's great that's great this is what our PCB looks like after manufacturing this one it really looks good okay so this is it in this video uh, please do subscribe us uh, because so that you can get all the videos all the tutorials related to Arduino and other electronics and stuff and uh, in the later videos we'll design our development board we'll design some PCBs with the microcontroller also so please do subscribe us if you like this video then press the like button do comment if you have any kinds of a question any kinds of a query please do comment and uh, please share this video with your friends also thanks for watching bye bye